Okay, we've been working through the ICT workshops and this has been based on the ATSIL National, National Professional Standards for Teachers. Now, this document here, it was released by ATSIL and it actually outlines the, how the National Professional Standards are being used um, in schools in Australia now. And there are seven, seven professional standards so it would start out from the easy ones, which is know the students and how they learn and know the content, how to teach it. Then goes into your professional things, such as plan, uh, plan at your teaching strategies, create an environment and assess and provide feedback. And then goes into the advanced ones, which are engage in professional learning uh, yourself and engage with your colleagues and the wider community. Now there are four standards, four stages of each standard. So in this case, I'm looking here at no students and how they learn. There are four standards, graduate, proficient, highly accomplished and lead. Now uh, for you, for all student teachers, you must be meeting these, uh, the graduate standards at the, in order to pass your year. Um, the graduate standards are basically demonstrate and knowledge and understanding of each of these standards. So every single one starts off with demonstrate knowledge. Now, uh, once you finish that and we go on to teach, and this is, this is the case for all active teachers, they will have to meet the proficient standards in order to be able to re-register. So in order to register, you have to demonstrate a knowledge and understanding of each of these dot points or these standards. So how are you gonna do that? How do you demonstrate a knowledge of each of these standards? Well, for a start, in these ICT workshops, each workshop, I have been going, I've been identifying one, uh, three standards that I'm focusing on. Um, so I'll provide this PowerPoint as uh, in the uh, in my uni so you can go through and have a look at it uh, but basically under the, uh, the workshops here you can see each workshop we've had, we've had a look at different standards I've covered each one twice at least uh, six and seven is the least ones to focus on and I'll get you to guys to focus on that next semester but for now, I want you to concentrate on standards one and two, which is the basics of um, knowing the students how to teach them, and three, four, five of how to set up your classes and provide a test and provide feedback. Now, in order to prove to me that you that you have an understanding of your of uh, the standards, I want you to take a unit plan that you've got. Um, preferably one that you've used to teach uh, in your practicum. If you haven't got one that you've taught with your practicum, that's fine. But take a unit plan, don't write one, take one you've already have and identify where you're meeting each of the standards. So in this case, um, unit plan, uh, Mr. Biology's, Mr. Wonderful's biology unit plan, he's gone through and his unit plan outlines how he's gonna set stuff up, his Act, uh, his objective of each lesson um, and how he's going to teach it and then he had in here the different performance standards and how he's going to meet them. Now I'm going to add this document to the learning to our my uni and in it it's got each standard and it's also got the ICT elaboration to help you. So in this case I've got here 1.1 is demonstrate the knowledge and understanding the way students ICT use can influence their social and intellectual development. So you might be using, they might be using a learning platform to provide resources and material, um, engage in other students, um, collaborate and so on. So each one of these boxes will be marked out of two and you'll get one mark for identifying how you're meeting the standards and a second mark of identifying where in your unit plan you are meeting those standards. Um, I want you to go through and do all of standards one, two, three, four and five Standard six and seven, which is your professional stuff, won't be covered until principles and practice in semester two. So it's not compulsory in this unit. Should you wish to add stuff in here just for your own benefit, that's fine. Otherwise, I would not worry about it. Now, this is all due uh, by June the 29th. That way I can actually get it marked in the school holidays. And once it's being returned, you can actually use this towards your e-portfolio. Um, in fact, you can use it towards your e-portfolio anyway to demonstrate your knowledge and understanding of each of the standards. All right, I wish you luck for your teaching prac. 
if you've got any questions, send me an email. Um, I'll put up a discussion board on this so you guys can have a chat with each other. Otherwise, good luck, and I look forward to reading your information.